Most people see at least one in a probability question and immediately panic. But once you know the shortcut, it becomes one of the easiest questions in the chapter. Here's the rule. Don't calculate all the ways it can happen. Calculate the one way it doesn't happen and then subtract from one. Because at least one is just code for one minus probability of zero happening. For example, three friends flip a coin. What's the chance at least one head appears? First, instead of finding the chance of getting at least one head, we do the opposite. We find the chance of getting no heads at all. That means all three flips must be tails. Since each tail has the probability of one half, so we multiply one half times one half times one half, which equals one eighth. Now subtract this from one. One minus one eighth equals seven eighths. So the answer is seven eighths. Let's do another example. If you flip a coin four times, what's the probability you get at least one head? Step one, determine the probability of no heads. That is all tails. One half times one half times one half times one half equals one sixteenth. Step two, subtract from one. One minus one sixteenth equals 15 sixteenths. So the probability of getting at least one head is 15 sixteenths. So the next time a question says at least one, don't list 20 outcomes, just flip it, calculate the impossible case and subtract.